Good day, student. Our lesson is about organizing data set. Again, I am Ma'am Michelle Romero. At the end of the lesson, you must be able to gather statistical data. Before we will proceed to our lesson, let's have first this activity. A group of three students for a science experiment measured the stem length in millimeter of 24 sprouting mango seeds after five days. And here is Carlos' record. We have Fatima's record. And lastly, we have Amelia's record. So we will use these following records to answer the questions that will appear on the right side. Whose record would you look at if you would like to know the following below? The observation of a particular plant ladder. So we will look at Carlos' record. Why? Because in the first column, the data are already arranged in alphabetical order. Number two, what plant has the longest or the shortest stem measurement? So to answer this question, we will look at Fatima's record. Why? Because in the second column, the data are, are, uh, are already arranged in descending order. So we can easily find the longest stem measurement, which is uh, 32 millimeter, and that is plant E. And the shortest stem measurement uh, is 10 millimeter, and those plants are plants H, P, and Q. Number three, how many plants have a stem measurement of 12 millimeter? So, again, we will look at Fatima's record, and we have plant K. So, meaning there's only one plant that has a stem measurement of 12 millimeter. In our activity, we have learned that after we collected the data needed, it is very important to organize them so that we could easily um, answer the questions. Now, uh, let us talk about the different methods in collecting or gathering statistical data. So we have direct method. First, uh, we have observation. The researcher sees the situation directly. Examples, most visited social media apps by the students. Most saleable mobile phone brand. Next interview, this can be classified as personal, telephone, or online interview. It is done through direct conversation with the interviewee. Example, uh, Effects of COVID-19 vaccines to so senior citizens. Favorite uh, Disney character of kinder student. Okay, so next let us discuss about indirect method. So number one, we have questionnaire. This method uses a questionnaire. Example, enrollment form, biodata form. Number two, reading statistical publication. This method gathers data from legal documents imposed by law, such as registered certificates. Example, numbers of registered voters in Zimbabwe City, and population of region for a person. For example, a geometry teacher wants to find the grades of his or her students. She collects the data in the following ways. Letter A their grades in the class registry. So in this case, she collects the data by reading application. Letter B, she sign a form and ask the students to fill out the previous grades and return the form to her. So here, she collects the data by conducting survey. Letter C, she asks the students to raise their hand if their grade fall within the specific grade. In this case, she collects the data by observing outcome. How can we organize a set of data? So we can organize a set of data using a table. Table is a systematic way to arrange data 
for data are written in rows or columns. In the table, we have a title. Title gives us the information about what the data are all about. And it has also headings. The headings uh, tell you the categories for each column. So the second method in organizing set of data, we have stem and bleed display. So in this table, we have the leading digits. These are also the stem values. Next, we have the trailing digits. These are the leaf values. Let's have an example. Organize status record of data set using step and method. Step 1, we write the possible leading digits under step. So the given set of data here is the uh, length of stem. So by inspection, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, um, in this case, the, the, the length, we have the length that are more than 10, more than 20, and more than 30. So, that's the reason why the stem or the leading digits are 1, 2, and 3. Step 2, we have write the training digits. So the ha the longest stem measurement is 32 millimeter. So the training digit is 2 or that is also the second digit of 32. The next we have 24, 25, 22, 28, 25 and so on. And the training digits for 2 are 4, 5, 2, 8, 5, 6, 7, 0, 8, 5, 8, 7, and 8. Next, we have 10, 12, 18, 10, 10, 14, 18, 14, 18, 15. The leaf values or the trailing digits are 0, 2, 8, 0, 0, 4, 8, 4, 8, 5. Okay. The next step 3, we write the trailing digits in increasing order. So, that will be the answer. Okay. Example, a school conducted a medical camp for grade 7 students. The data of the weight in pounds of students are listed below. Answer the following questions. Okay, so number one, how many students weight between 50 to 60 pounds? So, based on our uh, data, the leaf values are 1, 5, 8, 9, and 9. So meaning we have 51, 55, 58, 59, and 59. So those numbers are also located between 50 to 60 pounds. So the answer now is 5 students. Number 2, what is the minimum weight among them? The answer is 40 pounds. Okay. So number three, how many students attended the camp? Okay, so the number, uh, the total number of uh, leaf values is also the total number of students no, in this given set of uh, data. So we have here, okay, so let's count. We have one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the answer for number three is fifteen students. Okay, so this will be the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.